Hey, it's Dorleen, and today I'm working in my junk journal. I was asked to do a tutorial on these finger-painted flowers, and so right now I'm just pointing out where they were done in my junk journal. I have done flip-throughs of my junk journals, so if you haven't had a chance yet, please go through those, but I will tell you that a lot of those pages have changed because I have been working on those blank pages since I filmed those flip-throughs. But um, So today that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing those flowers on on this two page spread as you can tell from looking at it, um, it, it they are not very pretty I it looks like somebody bled all over these pages but we're gonna fix that so whenever I want to fix the background of something all I do is I use some white gesso and I'll use a um, either a credit card or an expired gift card something like that and I scrape the gesso just completely over what I want to cover um, thick or thin depending on how much I want to cover and what you see me doing right now is I do have a little bit of gesso left on that card and instead of wasting that I'll just put it on another page so right now I'm using my heat gun to dry that so that I can move to the next step and I will tell you that I use my heat gun a lot during this process video but I don't show it a lot so between the layers of the different medium I am drying it especially when it's paint and to try to use a pen on top of that um, you definitely want to make sure that your um, paint is dry so right now I'm using my fingers like I said these are all finger painted flowers and I'm creating the roses by just um, let's see well you can watch me I'm creating it by by drawing with my finger these C's or these parentheses, however you want to call it, and I'm layering them on top, you know, over each other and around each other to create the different sizes of roses. And once I get like the dark, then I go in with a lighter, and I'm just using my finger to combine the dark yellow with the light yellow, and then the light yellow with the white, etc. Because I'm trying to add layers of a variation of colors of the paint and what that does is obviously it adds dimension to the flower it makes it look more like there's the petals and um, you know more like a flower instead of just this circle of yellow paint and I'm just going through again adding the shading as I see fit um, you know with the acrylic paint and with my with my fingers Just adding here and there until I get to a point where I, I feel like I'm done. And then I use, again, the heat gun to um, to dry these layers, um, which I'm not sure if you'll see my gun every so often get pulled out, but you definitely will not see uh, the, the whole process of the drying. Um, to, over to the right and to the left of this page, I do have different um, things there to protect the pages behind so you see the plastic on one side and then a laminated piece of paper on the other side i had a lot of acrylic paint left so those hearts were made with my cricut i was making a lot of valentine's day projects and so i'll use them as stencils a lot and um, i don't like to waste medium so i just painted on some junk paper junk mail because i will use those either in collages sometimes i'll use them even as a background of a card base but I do use those a lot so I'm working on the leaves right now and that I decided to use with a paintbrush so with this dark green I layer the paint on the brush and then I push in the brush at the base and then as I'm pulling it out to make the to the tip of the leaf I uh, lift the paint a little bit so it's a lighter pressure and I also twist it and I hope you can see that while I'm working with the brush um, you can see me I use that same dark green with some white paint to make it a lighter so I went on the side of each of these leaves just to add a little bit more dimension and like a shadow um, and not right now I'm just adding different medium I will have all the products that I used on my blog my blog address will be below I'll have a link to this particular film and this project also a link to my the home page and uh, my Instagram account so um, if you have any questions on the products that I use, you know, please go to my blog and you can read all about it there. Um, I did, on purpose, put that liquid metallic ink and I wanted it to be very drippy. I just liked the look and I wanted to change it up a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of a messy look, a little bit more fun. Um, I still wasn't sure what I was doing with that left hand, or excuse me, right hand corner where that 
stamped image was, I, but I knew I wasn't going to use that. Right now I'm using some black archival ink with this script stamp and this stamp you'll see me use it all the time. It's one of my favorite and I just put that here and there. What I'm, what I'm showing you right now are I'm showing you those pages again and you see how you could see the layers of the different colors that I used to make those flowers and I didn't really feel like I achieved that with the yellow paint. So I have this dark yellow Posca pen and so now I'm going through and I'm just kind of doodling around instead of making it a flat circle I'm trying to make it a little bit wavier and 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 more whimsical I guess giving it more layer more dimension. I'm drawing with this pen those, st those same parentheses C's commas whatever you want to call it so I'm still following the same instructions on how I make my flowers but I'm now I'm using it with that with that paint pen and once those dried I'm now using this black uh, I think it's a big marker but again I'll have that information on my blog and I'm just you know kind of doodling around the leaf to to give a little whimsy to that so right now as as that's drying or those mediums are drying I decided to work on that badge. I pulled out this green, um, this is a gel print of mine, and um, I'm still not really sure what I'm doing. I look over to the right and I see some that white notebook paper just sitting there, although I did have notes on the other side. But So I cut a circle out of that, and now I'm stamping a sentiment, um, and again, I'll have where the you know what the stamp is and where I purchased it on my blog but I fussy cut that out and now I'm going to use some liquid adhesive some glue to adhere the layers to finish off that badge I really do like the way that turned out and especially because I left on the remainder or the remaining of that little piece of doily that was there so it just kind of added a little bit of a uh, frill to that and I really liked it I'm just layering those on um to you know to complete the um the the spread if you haven't already i know i mentioned it earlier but um please be sure to click on over to my blog you can see a link to all those the junk journal flip through and you can also um, get that information on the playlist on my home index page i think you would enjoy going through that um, I'm using a white paint pen to add some marks here and there. That's just a regular pencil that I'm drawing X's. The one thing I love about kind of playing with these art journal is the layering of product that you use. So your first glance, it looks one way, but then when you really look at it, you can see all the little extras that you put in there. So I think that's a lot of fun. So right now I'm just kind of thinking, okay, I'm done. But then I'm thinking, you know, so most of these flowers, you do see the dimension, you see that lighter, you know, the white, the lighter shades, this and that. But I kind of refer back to my other flowers and I see, man, there you can really see the dimension. It, it's more noticeable in those flowers. And I think, yeah, I, I'm still not really loving these new flowers that I made. So I'm going to go back and pull out the lighter yellow and the white acrylic paint. And some of these flowers, you'll see me pointing them out. I do like that white and you can really see the, the um, contrast, but some of them just still really look like blobs of yellow circles. So that's why I'm going through again and I'm adding the white and the lighter yellow. And I'm again, following the same instruction, those C's, the parentheses, commas, whatever you want to call them, following that same steps, but this time adding a more the highlight the more the lighter the contrast and I do end up with paint on my fingers of course and I decided to smudge that around that badge and I like that I did that because now I feel like it flows more with the page whereas before it was a just a stark white and so it was too much of a contrast from the badge to the journal page um, again I pull out the yellow pen on the the flowers that I worked on Again, just to give it another dimension. And at this point, I realize, okay, I, I like this now. And I hope you do too. And if you agree, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you are not already a subscriber. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified of all my videos. I am trying to do at least one a week. And basically, these are crafts that I'm doing in the command center. One thing to note, I did end up 
doing some black scribbles on this because I still wasn't 100% happy with it, but I am now. So thanks for joining me. And remember, have fun. This is a hobby to have fun. Bye.